12 more weeks. Yeah, 12 more weeks. It goes to show how long I've been, I haven't been vlogging for quite some time. There it is, right behind this curtain. For Christmas. Yeah. You guys have bought Hostel, yes. Here's a pretty bird. Sweet. Yeah. I think this is one of the best days there. One of the Doesn't look too promising. It's going to get wild. <laughs> That's a lapsteel guitar, Hawaiian guitar. This one is the, um, they're two ovation guitars actually. And this one is my electric guitar. Old and young music. Hey Trev, welcome. Today is Saturday, 25th of September. And uh, did you know it's 12 more weeks? Yeah, 12 more weeks to Christmas. No! Uh, only 12 more weeks, 12 weeks. That makes it 13 more weeks to go for the ending of this year. Counting down? <laughs> okay, I know. Okay, and I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you my guitar collection. A um, bit of an update of my guitar collection of what I've got, so I'm going to show you those. And um, so, of course, I'm going to show you this one, my very first guitar. Yeah, this guitar goes down in history. The old maestro folk guitar. This was presented to me as a Christmas present in 1974. At Christmas mum and dad gave me that guitar yeah no strings attached on it because the bridge there had came out I had to glue it yeah so as you can see my autograph on there <laughs> on the back of that guitar are, are, are dates of songs I actually first recorded with that guitar for my very first song called I am a hillbilly boy yeah that's my very first song I've ever recorded. And we come over here, this guitar is the Yamaha 12 stringer, 12 strings, and this is my, well, I call it a battle axe. <laughs> and because uh, I've done a lot of busking with this in uh, Tamworth. So as you can see, the Tamworth stickers on there and, and all sorts. Yeah, so that's been a very good guitar, that, and uh, done a lot of busking. Mm. Me Trev, wow, what's up? Me Trev, welcome. Today is Thursday, 20, no, it's Wednesday, 27, 22nd of September. It goes to show how long I've been, I haven't been vlogging for quite some time. And forgetting to know what day it is. Yeah, so, um, just had my milkshake this morning. Yes, my milkshake, yeah. I didn't make it. God's up there and made it. Yes, we did have an earth tremor. An earth tremor this morning. At quarter past nine this morning. And I was I was in my kit I was in the lounge room here and I um, was just about ready to go to work and, and then all of a sudden this house shook. <laughs> I felt weird. It's Right, that sh that uh, boat here, it's a model, sh it's a model Endeavour ship, actually, um, that actually fell from up there, so, um, that's going back, a little bit of, bits of fragments of that ship broke as it fell, those, uh, look like little fences that go on the side of the ship, so I think, um, so that sort of dropped. So that's going, that can go back up there, but that's okay, the ship is okay. Um, it's just that some parts broke as it fell, sort of thing, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's... so that sort of fell down on the chair, fell from up there down to my chair, right down there. So um, I think I might put it back up there, that'll be fine. Cutty Shark, 
that's what it is. I'm trying to reach up there to get it, put it back. It was really, it was swaying violently. <laughs> back and forwards. And I thought, oh, 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 it's going to fall. And it, psh, down it went. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, even the, uh, well actually I was, well, it's actually sitting on my chair right here. And, uh, and these fans, this was swaying back and forth, everything was swaying, even my TV screen. Everything was really swaying. And I really thought this house was going to fall apart. That's what I really thought it was going to do. And, uh, and I thought at the moment, I thought, we're having an earth trimmer. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and by then, uh, I was looking on, I'm trying to get myself focused in here. Yes. And when I saw uh, a lot of messages on Facebook, and uh, I, I thought, oh, earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. <laughs> there were messages after messages, and I thought, oh, this is good, to, this is t so much, so, so true. So, um, yeah, we're not actually um, quite used to seeing those sort of things, tremors, earthquakes here in Australia. Um, we're sort of, that sort of thing, we're not used to it. I guess people over in Italy, Greece, all those sort of countries, um, you guys over there, you would have experienced those. And also in California, you would have experienced your earth tremors in, and in California and different parts of America. And, um, but I remember years ago, I think it was going back in the 90s, I felt the tremor at the old house where I used to live. And, um, because I was in my bedroom and my dad was outside and, uh, and I was sitting on the desk just like this, you know, me with the desk. And I felt the floorboards were coming up. Everything was rising up and I thought, I felt weird. And it was a tremor, it was. And, uh, but then I was told that you'd feel it in the house because you're on boards uh, but if you're outside you won't feel it if you even if you're on concrete walking around on out in the road or concrete you wouldn't feel it but if you're on floorboards yes you would so um, that is unbelievable it was scary oh, my heart was pounding so I went outside out the front to see what there was no one around, everything was quiet, and I thought everybody must have felt the same thing with the earth tremor. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So it was an experience, it was a real experience. I'm just trying to focus this camera, and, and uh, yeah. So what have you guys been doing? <laughs> it's been so long since I've done my vlog. Well, I thought, well, now we have the tremor. It's a sort of a wake-up call for me to do a vlog, or why not? <laughs> Yeah, so um, I hope you're having a great day, and, and uh, if you had your tremor, tell me about it, your stories, if you had your tremor, earth tremor, if you felt it before. Some people felt, never felt it before. Um, I felt it once, but it was only a small one, but this one that we had today was a really big one. 6.0 on the Richter scale in Mansfield area, somewhere in that area. Um, club probably copped the most of it, and there are buildings down in Richmond, which is down in Melbourne, uh, that sort of fell apart. And um, the, the quake was felt as far away as all around Victoria, New South Wales, Canberra, ACT, South Australia, some parts, and I believe in Tasmania as well. Some felt it in Tassie which is across the ocean of the Bass Strait. <laughs> so, yeah. So it was a real experience. Hmm. So um, it was a bit scary, it really was. I, I was shaking. And I, I thought, well, this house I'm renting, I really thought it was going to fall apart. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so that's everybody, it's got everybody talking now. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And I believe this news has also um, reached right as far all around the world. Um, they heard about it. People in America heard about it. So, I mean, 
they're quite used to that sort of thing, I guess. And uh, <laughs> but here in Australia, we're just we're just learning. Now, I just decided when I put that um, ship, that model ship on my um, shelf, I decided to um, take it down and I just put it down here. There it is, right behind this curtain. The Cutty Shark model. Yes. I put it there because, to be on the safe side, because if we get another trimmer, that will come down again. <laughs> I think you might agree with that. So to be safe and sorry, I'd rather put it there. Yeah, that's okay there. That's a bit more stable there. So um, the photos are okay, and um, but the, the the ceiling fans are okay. I've got every room has a ceiling fan, so um, it was the swaying. It really was. Um, I've never felt anything like it. So um, there's, that's our earth trimmer for the day. <laughs> the biggest one we've had, I think, in our state anyway, on Victoria. <laughs> so I think we've measured around about, in Langarada where I lived, around about five on the Richter scale, five point something. And I think Mansfield, Woods Point, uh, Woods Point, I copped around about six. So that would have been the central area. So it's pretty close to Melbourne. So it was a very big mass area of our state that caught this tremor. Yeah, so um, it was an experience. Really was. But, but as they're saying, we could get aftershocks, we could get more. So um, I, think, <laughs> I think we're gonna have to uh, bury down the hatches. <laughs> yeah, secure things. So they won't fall. They tell me. They tell me also never stand um, under a archway of a door, of door frame, when the earthquake comes. Never stand under it. I guess I can see the reason why. Because if I guess if it, if the house collapses, then you're trapped. And you're dead. <laughs> if the door frame collapses, that's it. You're done. So. Um, I suppose the best, the safest bet would be, I suppose, I don't know, um, hide under your bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hide under your bed or just run away. <laughs> what do you reckon? Then? What's the best thing to do to escape from the earthquake or earth trimmer? What do you do? Hide under the bed, hide under the table or something. <laughs> mm. Mate Trev. Welcome. Today, what day is it? It's Friday. Yes, 24th of September. And gosh, September is going fast, really fast. And uh, we've only got, what, three more months to go to Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes it, what's that, 12, hang on, 4, 8, 12 or more weeks. 12 weeks to Christmas. <laughs> no! Oh, yeah. Yes. 12 more weeks to Christmas. <laughs> now, um, I want to do a couple of shout outs actually um, on this. And um, I've got this, um, well, actually, this house. Um, um, actually, uh, what's your favourite? What's your favourite real estate agent? If you're renting a house or whatever, or bought a house from a real estate agent, and who's your favourite? <laughs> um, my, my real estate agent um, is Morris Brothers Real Estate. Thank you, Morris Brothers. 
a big shout out to you guys um, um, because they gave me this rent of this house and uh, what a wonderful real estate they are wonderful people and um, they donated me what I needed because on my computer I mentioned some time back about running out of space external hard drives I've gone through so many hard drives and they're all full and uh, I was in need of another one so of course Morris Brothers um, donated me uh, a Seagate expansion 4 terabyte external hard drive yes thank you thank you uh, guys from Real Morris Brothers Real Estate and they saw me on YouTube of course and um, I haven't used it yet so um, I'll only use it when I need it so which I will eventually so thank you very much that is wonderful um, wonderful people and of course this house um, of course I'm keep keeping it tidy and clean I clean every day I do a room each day during the week I dust things down and vacuum the floors keeping everything tidy yeah so um but actually it's pretty good really because hardly any cobwebs in here and all anything or dust anyway so that's pretty good eh? it's pretty cool so um anyway so how did you survive that earthquake that we had last um was it wednesday morning yeah, wednesday morning yeah last wednesday morning 9 15 a.m yeah there's something this house shook really did it was like a being on a ship swaying the the ceiling fan was swaying everything my tv screens my computer rocking everything and i thought well, what oh, my stomach was pounding and i went outside to see what's going on and everything else but it was pretty quiet I, um so um yes yeah, there was no structural damage or anything like that in the house as far as I know, I had a look around and um, there's no structural damage, which is good. So, and our St. Patrick's Cathedral in Wangaratta, um, some of the fragments of the building um, came down. <laughs> mm. So, um, anyway, it's springtime, the spring has sprung, yes, and the flowers are going to be coming out starting to bloom a bit and I've been and my lawn has been cut as well so uh, good, a guy came here thank you Andrew for mowing my lawn and uh, it needed it so now all I gotta do is tidy up the, the remains of the grass a bit and um, do a little bit of weeding on the, in the garden so that'll be good yeah. I hope you're having a good day just want to show you a couple of things um, I've had a few comments on Facebook. I've been showing a few things that I've got, some of my ornaments, and um, of course this uh, guitar model. It's actually um, it's like a, a, a trophy sort of thing, and uh, it's a lovely little trophy of the guitar. Now this this was presented me uh, when I was doing a concert at a little town in Victoria called Port place called Bort, B-O-O-R-T, and I did a show there at Bort Hostel, big shout out to you guys at Bort Hostel, yes, um, we've done a few concerts there over the period when I was travelling, and um, wonderful people to a wonderful town, and they've got a beautiful lake, Lake Bort, to I camp there, and uh, it is great, and also this one, is a trophy as well that's a trophy and um let's try to get that focused in a bit there i don't really reckon i really, really get that focused there it is that's a trophy now i got i won this this is actually it's my second male vocal award in 1983 85 sorry 1985 at portland victoria i've got to get this how's that at Portland, Victoria, uh, in 1985, at a country music festival in Portland, there was on Australia Day, yeah, and I competed in a talent quest there. I got my first, first male um, best dressed 
in 1983, and then this one is 1985 for the second male vocalist. And uh, the first male vocal uh, award went to Mark Hannick. Uh, Mark Hannick, um, I don't know where he still existed or not, I don't know, but he could be still about, but it's been a long time. <laughs> so, but you know, 1987, I got first <laughs> male vocalist, and he got second. <laughs> so there you go. And also, I want to thank uh, my good friend in England. Hello to all you people, all my friends in England, or Great Britain, UK, or whatever you like to call yourselves. Great Britain, yes, to Brenda Lowndes. Brenda, she's been a fan of mine for a long time, and we've been pen friends for a long time too. And uh, thank you very much for the card. She sent me this card. A new home. Enjoy making it your own. Brick bright brick. Yes. Of course, this is a brick house. <laughs> so, um, yes, congratulations in your new home. I wish you all the best for your new future. Friends, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Big shout out to you. Yes, and I'm very, very sorry that you lost, lost your husband. Um, Mick. I think his name was Mick, is that right? Yes. And of course he passed away last year. And um, very sad. So uh, thank you, Brenda. I hope you're having a great day, Brenda. Yes, so uh, that's on my mantelpiece here. There. That's the only first card I ever got from anybody in this house. <laughs> yes. Spring has sprung. Doing my chores. Where is your mask, dude? What did you say? Where's my mask? I'm wearing it. There's my mask, my face. I've got a mask, my face. <laughs> Get back to work. Here's the pretty birds. Sweet, aren't they?
cut raked up yeah it's nice to be a little patio patio <sighs> my little table my little uh, resting spot Day, spring day day it's spring it's sat it's Friday now it's not Saturday yet that's tomorrow we've got a long weekend that's why just the grand final football <laughs> so that's all done and uh, I'll show you some flowers around the joint some beautiful flowers next to my garden area look at that look at the butterfly might it along. Yeah. There's another butterfly. I had three of those. I don't know about the third one. Look at that, you know, pretty. closing in on us for rain so that's not too promising it's going to get wild <laughs> I don't know, I think. Mm. yes it's getting wild not too good Now, I've come into my music room and I'm going to show you my other guitars that I do use. Um, these are more active. The ones I showed you before 
um, they're restored in my room, my bedroom. So now these ones here um, are my existing guitars that I have. If I can get this focused, yeah. That's a lap steel guitar, Hawaiian guitar. That's very antique. That's about, I would say about 1950s era. era. The guy at home. Yes. 1950s Hawaiian guitar. It is a very beautiful guitar, beautiful sound. That's my original ovation. Well, this one's my original ovation guitar. I got this one in 1981. Yes, and I played this on my 21st birthday celebration. Yeah. And there's a little nick in there somewhere. There it is. A little spot in the middle. See that spot? Yep. There was a nick. Now I'll tell you a little story about that because um, I was playing in Chilton, a little town called Chilton, at the Telegraph Hotel one night. Uh, I did a gig there, and um, right on the last, very last song of the night, um, they had everybody on the dance floor, and this guy was drunk. And uh, so he. Um, <laughs> so he got so drunk that. Uh, he sort of came towards me as I was standing with the guitar singing and um, he knocked me down. <laughs> he knocked me over because he was drunk. And um, actually the microphone hit that guitar. Yes. Mm. I was almost down on the floor. <laughs> so that was the end of the night. So that's how I got that. So, um, But it's a nice guitar, it really is. It's, it's a classic, it really is. It's a real classic guitar, that. And... Um, very expensive. This other one is the uh, Monterey Ovation. Now I think that's the daughter of that. <laughs> My, that's the one I've been currently you've been using. I've had that since um, I'm not so sure what year it was. Um, it could have been in the mid 2000 because I used to have a Canora, um, not a Canora. Um, I used to have another Ovation guitar, um, which is. Um, the Vesta, the Vesta ovation, but that's out of action, really. But, and this one is my electric guitar. It's the Fender, the Fender Stratocaster. It's American style type guitar. It's a country, country electric guitar. Very beautiful too. And of course, my lap steel. And I'll show you a little bit about around my studio. There, of course, there's all my CD collections here, <laughs> hundreds and thousands of it. And of course, there's my keyboard, and uh, this is my studio area, the microphone there, and my mixer, recorder, Tascam recorder. Still learning how to use it. <laughs> actually, so far, I've actually um, I've recorded uh, my guitar track and my vocal already, so that it's sounding okay. Um, but with the vocal track, I can't seem to um, wipe it off because I wanted to redo it again. So um, I can't do that. I can't seem to do that. It won't. Not telling me anywhere to erase that particular track. So um, it's telling me to erase, but it'll break, it'll wipe off the guitar track as well. So um, so I might have to um, try another track to do the vocal and just just hide the first vocal track. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. That's to a song called "Little Old Wine Drink of Me." I'm just, I'm working on that at the moment. This is only experimenting at the moment. So with this Tascam, it's only the guitar and my vo my voice. And going to do a bit of harmony in that as well, and a bit of lead work, lead guitar work as well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, of course, that's my ukulele. 
<laughs> my, my trusty little yoke, not to forget my little yoke. And, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this, this is a lot of junk here. Um, this is going to be converted into a, um, a little entertainment area where I can play my Wii games. Yeah, computer games. Like the Wii, which I do have. So that might be converted into that yet. And of course, this uh, cupboard slides out. It's got full of games, board games. And uh, yeah, it's got all that stored in there. They're my Monopoly collection. All my Monopolies. Mm hmm. All sorts. Now, just showing you a couple of books that I had for a long, quite a long time. Um, if you like country music, because I'm always pretty deep into country music, old and young music, and um, these books I've got. It's all about the history of country music. It's Eric Watson's country music in Australia. And um, he bought the volume one, and um, this is number two, volume two. So it goes way back since uh, Art Leonard, Art Leonard, uh, Tex Morton, Buddy Williams, Slim Dusty, he's got all their discography in it. And um, also all the artists, all their bios in there. Great stuff. It's good history. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog and I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to get this uploaded and I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I shall see you very soon. Bye, Korean Harmony. Thanks. Bye. Bye.